on how to add a decal to a curved surface uh, so when you want to render you don't have to um, you don't have to go in and try to Photoshop stuff in so what I did in Photoshop was I I made the image that I want to appear on my watch face which I'll show you what that looks like uh, where is it okay so this is the the flat image okay and I need it to bend on this surface just like it is right now okay so I'm gonna open up that that surface and I'm going to walk you through how I do it let me uh, apply this alright so you can see this is just a surface it's curved I need it to follow that and I don't want to have to Photoshop it in after I render my part so the best way to do this is to go to view color and appearance and uh, material then new and I'm going to name it um, iPhone decal and I'm going to go down to map and then there's something called decal now if you click that you can hit the plus sign mine's already loaded in here but if you you can hit the plus sign and go to browse to the location of where your image is at Okay, so I'll, I'll just select it. So here it is. It's, it's in my little pull down here. So I select it and I hit apply and hit OK. Now you're not seeing it because you have to hit apply up here. Once I hit apply, you can see that it's, it's not exactly where I want it. But because this window's still open, it's still active. So if I click on this box, I can rotate it. So it's going to be minus 90 hit apply hit OK now I'm gonna leave this window open I'm gonna go back to my assembly and just to make sure okay now you can see it's it's upside down right now this is not how I want it so I go back to my part and I go back to view color and appearance alright now this is the version I want it's 90 degrees so I hit apply and it's flipped now you can go in and flip it and, and, and move it around like this, but I need it at 90, so not negative 90 like I originally had it. And now it's flipped into the direction that I want. And it will go with it when I export it. Um, it will go with it. Like I can bring this into a program called HyperShot and render it because um, it reads native Pro E files. You can bring it into the Pro E rendering. Uh, tool and you can render it and it'll stay on there um, you can see that it's following the curved surface it doesn't bend outside of it and uh, this is this is how I apply my decals so I hope this tutorial was uh, useful to you guys and if you have any questions or feedback please feel free to uh, leave it in the comments below thanks